would suggest Detective Inspector Hector. Dealing with people isn't really my thing. Your demands are the delusional, ludicrous gibberets of a raven halfwit. Today, something will be done. What's this? It's a Who Cares badge. Everyone's wearing them. Who cares about Clapper's Reek? You do. Operation Clapper's Cleanup is about to begin. Let's hit the pub, lads. I'm going to single-handedly track down this son of a dog end. Can I help? I'll work it out myself. <laughs> The tourist info bloke from Cottage Park. Something big is about to go down in Clapper's Reek. Where the hell am I this time? I feel like I ate the floor of a chicken shed. And the chickens. <laughs> What's that awful smell? Oh, I hope it's not me again. Not the worst place I've ever woken up in. Oh well, let's see if we can get someone's attention. Nurse! That's a new one. Something tells me this ain't Clapper's Royal. The severed cow's leg on the floor should have been an early clue. But what the hell am I wearing? I should charge myself for indecent exposure. Festive. Definitely not Clapper's Royal. Boy, I remember the last time I got caught out without me severed cow's leg. <laughs> that was embarrassing, let me tell ya. Cheeky sod. Now I can record the last wheezing breaths of my own death rattle. I really hope it's the relaxing sounds of the Amazon rainforest. a treadmill. already. Maybe I'll just try it for a bit. I'm getting curious as to what he has in store. Oh, this goes against everything I stand for. <sighs> Puckeration, Lambert, I'm almost glad to see you. My gosh, Hector, what has he done to you? Look away. You, you don't want to see this. 
I'm surprised you even recognize me. I must have lost about ten stones so far. Guys! Where are we? And how come all of a sudden you want to get in shape? Well, I thought I'm trapped in a room full of feces. Now's a good time to start a six-week fitness plan. Oh, retardation, Lambert. I'm trying to save our lives. Ugh. I'm in a filthy, gangrenous tub. My two biggest fears at once, dirt, and my fear of one day turning into a human prune. The toaster, I don't mind so much. There's a bit of heat coming off it. You do know what happens when a live toaster mixes with water, don't you? You're a soggy toast. Death by toaster. Holy flip. We're definitely not getting out of this one alive, Lambert. Oh, crumbs. I'll never see Philomena or TV again. <laughs> I knew I should have been a sheriff. Too much force of will to get back on this thing every time. That should hold off the river of crap for a bit. Now, what's next? <coughs> oh, yeesh, the day never ends. There might be a small part in here I could use as a lockpick. I don't know where my ideas come from, but they're always so flipping brilliant. It's like they're channeled through you from a higher being. Nah, they're all mine. Way to go, boss! I was picking locks before you were off your mother's teat. <laughs> you know, sometimes... Don't finish that sentence. That's one heck of a plug hole. He's like the son I never wanted. We're almost home free. Which one of us is going down now? Let's see. Which one of us is shaped like a bean pole? Oh, you know I suffer from claustrophobishness. Do we really need another game of cheese cracker soup? There's no point. I always lose. I'm beginning to think you just make up the rules as you go, so I always end up with a short straw. No, no, there are clear set rules to the game. I'll explain them to you one day. You reckon there'll be spiders down there? No, Lambert, there'll be no spiders, lions, tigers, bears, or grues. Only copious amounts of crap. Oh, I can probably handle that. With you as my partner, I'll deal with copious amounts of crap every day. <laughs> Lambert, was that bat chat? I'll see you in China. Oh. Oh. Well, I'll be blowed. I could have swore you was a newborn calf squeezing out of a cow's jacksie just then. He even had the same squeal at the end. Right, there's got to be another way into that horrible tank. I mean, surely that pipe's not how we got in there in the first... Oh, my days! It can't be. It is. It's a... Oh, no, no. No time for that now. I've got to focus. Now, where's Hector hiding? Perfect. Assuming Hector can climb a rope, that is. <laughs> He's so chubby. I bet it'll be a struggle. <laughs> Hector? No, you piss and It's daily bleeding Thompson. Oh, sorry, wrong hatch. You nutty, it's me. I'm gonna get you out of there, okay? Good to hear the plan hasn't changed since a few minutes ago. I found a road. Stand clear. Come on up. Ugh. Fire ain't on one 
second. Oh, there we go. Won't be why. How'd you do that so fast? Simple, I yanked out the piñata, then simply rode the cascading wave of crap to the top. Same way you got to be a detective. <laughs> Watch it. Hector, Hector, have you seen it? Seen what? The decrepit barn or the complete absence of a curry ass? Look, we're saved. I'm still not seeing it. The Combine Harvester. Is that what it is? I thought it was a cow chipper or something. It's a 1957 McCracken Model 151B Combine Harvester. Back when I was 16, my dad and I spent the summer dismantling one of these together. I didn't know you grew up on a farm. What? No, a council estate. Anyway, I think I can get us back to Clapper's Reek. What, well, on that? I doubt you can make it to the flipping barn. Oh, just let me try. If it doesn't work, you can have half my paycheck. I already take half your paycheck for protection money. I meant the other half. Deal. Can we talk about this, Harvester? Right. From what I can see here, we're in need of three things. Oh, let me guess. A case of beer, rare steak and a hooker. Not fussy about the hooker so long as there's lots of beer first. We need a spark plug. Nay, probably stolen by local icks to build a potato gun. We need a 7 8 spanner. Nay, probably, uh, okay, a spanner. There's no real joke there. And we've got to find some nuts. Well, you can't have mine. Oh, it sounds odd, but it's like someone scoured this entire engine and stripped it of all the nuts. And to this very day, the nut collector still roams these parts. Oh. Stop it! Spark plug, a spanner, and nuts. This plan can't fail. That's the spirit. Great, a human. Oh, no, wait. I was wrong. He's just a farmer. I've got to be careful carrying this around on my person. I wouldn't want it to snap shut on me jack's crackers. Let's see if... A nice sturdy rake. Now, this is an accessory I could get used to. a button if you don't know what it does. I learnt that back at Value Land. Huh. Being a barn, I kind of expected there to be a lot more, well, poo and stuff. Not that I'm complaining. Nice change from what I'm used to. It's a little baby badger. Hey there, little guy. Huh? You that? Well, I'll be a monkey's Uncle Bob. A 7 8 spanner, just like the one Lambert needs. Sometimes I can't believe my luck. Guess I'll just be on my way then. I'm going to try one of these buttons. Come on, Lambert. You can do this. As Hector always says, if there's any job not worth doing, get Lambert to do it. That's because he knows I'm reliable, you see? Okay, here goes. Lambert! Uh oh! Greetings! 
The lab is now sealed. It's Barnsley. Another trap. Testing will commence in ten seconds. Where is that emaciated Tash Twangler? I don't think he's here. I think it's all pre-programmed. Doesn't make me feel any better. So was that cassette tape. Test subject armed. Something on this badge I just beat. Well, that's good news. How is that good? Because that means it's very likely you're not test subject. Oh, brill. Test commencing. Sweet Enola Day, he's detonated. Lambert, what the hell did you just do? Don't pin this on me. Ingestion complete. Arsenal taking effect. What the hell is Arsenal? Wait, it's clearing. <laughs> Oh, an ugly word. Bloody badger's gone rogue. Lambert, I'm not too proud to tell you I'm not enjoying this. I'm going to try another button. Oh, there's one here that says open. Hmm, it didn't work. Yes, it did. Technically, the open button did exactly what it said. <laughs> The cage, you numpty! You opened the cage! <laughs> hey, jump! How about a slice of wet, tasty brown toast? Lambert, <laughs> no one. Repeat. No one at the station is to ever hear of this. We're clear. Third time's the charm? Or is it bad things come in threes? Don't get stop doing something. Anything. Hokey dokey. Outside door controls. Nice work, Lambert. I've started to think of you as the son I never had. A horribly disfigured, unplanned and not particularly loved child. The sort of son you have no qualms about bringing behind the woodshed with a switch. But a child, all the same. I will take what little sentiment I can from that and place it way down deep for later. Now, can I just ask what the hell just happened? Perhaps we should do a quick recap in case this is important later. Right. First you lock me in. It locked itself. Then you played the glockenspiel. It was the computer. Which pissed off the badger, causing it to explode with rage. I think that sound made the device on the badger explode. The badger was then replaced with a bastard badger from hell. And whatever was in that black thing turned the badger into a... a... Bastard badger from hell? Well, for lack of a more technical description, yes. Right. Right. So what in the name of Jesus, Jessup, horse trotters in a vat of urethane does any of this even mean? I haven't a clue. You really need that printed on a t-shirt. I have. Last Christmas you got me that, remember? I didn't get you anything last Christmas. Oh, but I thought... Ah, must have been your wife. She buys you things and puts my name on them so you don't feel like a reject. Here's your bloody spanner. Thanks, boss. I wonder if that crazed badger's still in there. Well, only one way to find out. Hello, evil rodent. Must have woofed out that crap teller toast and gone for a kip somewhere. Heh, <laughs> I'll just tell Lambert he could be anywhere. One of these babies has saved my bacon on numerous occasions. And here I was, thinking I could just grab the spanner and walk out. Oh, okay. Wish me luck. I say, it's a bit dark, rather. <laughs> Well, nothing up this way but tricks to shadows and the stuff of nightmares. Foo! 
bags. I mean, oh crumbs. Why are you be in your wee dress, you lanky, stanky giantess? <laughs> that tiny man over there, he looks a bit like Flippity Flu. I were talking to you. Who do you think he might be? You'd be doing me little secret, do you be now wanting me, I did or do? I think it might. He might pass me in the woods and ne'er know it be meself in it at all. No, stop. There's no such thing. Just the effects of the sedative wearing off. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Oh, what would Hector say if we were here? Probably something like, the nice work, poop man, or, or something. Actually, he'd never say nice work. Hector, Hector, there's a... Oh, you'll never believe me. Oh, ball bags, Lambert. Which of your lame brain schemes should I take care of first? Let's see. Trees, sky, rocks, sticks. No bleeding leprechaun, Lambert, you complete soft pranny. What the hell am I doing? The only being round here dumb enough to get caught in that is Lambert. And I need him to fix the gut flipping, Nora. This whole plan's absurd. I think I may have upset the delicate balance of the forest. You! You did this to me! Funny, he doesn't seem so magical now. Hee <laughs> <laughs> Well, fiddle-dee-dee, I've won! <laughs> My victory seems somehow bittersweet. Till I tell Hector, he'll be so. Um, well, I'm excited anyway. Did you get what you came for? Uh huh. Well, I'll be. You don't happen to know where I can get any spark plugs, do you? What the devil's a spark plug? Well, it's a little white electrical engine part. Ah, well, round here we call that a do-flicker. Hillary here loves to eat junk like that, don't you, Hillary? As it happens, we saw her chewing on something like that yesterday. She's been moaning in pain ever since. Stuck down her back sphincter someplace. Oh, the poor cow. I need that spark plug. Would you mind if I helped Hillary get it out? What? You ask to touch another man's cow? You insult a dairy farmer where he stands? Oh, no. No offence, I swear. Oh, I'm, I'm so terribly sorry for insulting you. Oh, you went and done it now, boy. Offering to touch a man's cow, that's thrown down the gauntlet, that has. No, I swear I... There's no going back till we squares off over this here cow. Square off? Fight. Oh, crumbs. Hector, come quick. I'm being violently threatened. I'll be right back. We can sort this out amicably, I'm sure. We certainly will. Dairy farmer style. Oh, it's been a while since I had a good fight. Hector! Hector, you have to help me out. Hey, Gads, how many times a day do I hear that? There's a carroty old psycho farmer who wants to crush me like a grape. Oh, bleed, Nell Lambert. What do I always tell you about wandering off and talking to strangers? I only offered to pet Hillary and help her out with her bowel problem. 
I'll leave you alone for one minute and you proposition a man's wife. Why would you even do that? She's a cow. Lambert, what's come over you? It's not like you to belittle women. No, I mean a real one of the bovine variety. He tells me she has a penchant for eating machine parts. The very spark plug we need for the harvester is likely in her lower intestine as we speak. We get that. We're one step closer to getting out of here. So this uh, sparky thing we need to fix the harvester is inside a cow? Affirmative. But he says I've got no choice but to fight him for Hillary. And if we try to leave the area without a tussle, he'll shoot us like dogs. Now, this is important. Did he specifically say us or you? Well, I can't imagine there were two of us. Oh, Christ, Lambert. What's he look like? Could I take him? I don't know, boss. He's quite chunky and his arms are hairier than yours. I'll put this bumpkin in his place. Let me at him. Surely this whole hat rule is only intended to humiliate in an effort to put me off my stroke. Well, it won't work, for I have no shame. I am, however, a tad hesitant about putting this on my head after blocking a slurry pipe with it. Oh, well, for honour. All right, Chuckles. Once Hector's all up in your grill, you'll have cowbells clanking in your ears till calfing season. Ah, huh? we see you're ready to fight in the ancient ways of the dairy farmer. So how's this work then? Somebody ring a bell or something? No, no. We takes it in turns. Since you're the visiting party, you get to go first. <laughs> oh, unlucky for you, mate. We'll see. Take a whiff of this cow, Pat. Oh, what in the pink chubby others did you think you're doing? It's a fight, ain't it? It's like you weren't even trying. I'm beginning to wonder if you're even a dairy farmer at this point. Was that not right? Look, it's my turn, all right? Though it ain't even really a contest at this point. Now, oh, come on, bring it then. I've got a face like a sack of stones. Heh, <laughs> looks like I win. Win? Did you even compete? Look, Boyle, it's obvious you're new here, so I'm gonna give you a word of advice. You go rim punching people full ball like that, you're gonna lose a lot of cows. Gotta protect your milking hands, see? Dip them in warm honey and sheep urine every night. Makes them soft and supple. Anyway, you want another shot at the title? Just show up with your hat again. I know. What just happened? Lambert, it's your round. What, me? Yes, I've learned you're far more suited to dairy farmer rules than I ever will be. Any fighting tips? Only this, Lambert. I want you to hit this guy as hard as you can. I'm not sure about this. What if he ends up in casualty? He won't. You can trust me on this one. Better you than me. Tonight, Farms. Ah, uh, Mister. Oh, ah, uh, fresh meat. You think you're a better farmer than me, do you? You think you can touch up another man's cow and live to tell the tale, hey? Um. Well, go on, Boyle. Take your best dairy farmer swing. Okay, but just so you know, some people have affectionately nicknamed me the Naughty Kitten on account of my irritable temper. Oh, you're good. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. He made me do it. That'll be hard to beat, I can tell you. No, my turn. No, no, no. Uh, wouldn't you know it? You win square and fair. 
I was fooling myself to think I could ever beat your blue. You're the stuff of legend now. You'll be talked about round these parts for many years to come. What's your name, stranger? Lambert. Well, that ain't too legendary. Now, you'll be forever known as Baylor the Limp-Wristed. Go on, Hillary. You got a new daddy now? Oh, yay! Boss, we got Hillary. I've always wanted a best friend. Come on, Hill. Let's hang out. Now, Hill, this shouldn't hurt a bit. If it does, I apologise in advance. Now, I've never done this, but I've used a rubber glove just like this one to help my gran on with her pile cream. Ooh, you don't have any hoof and mouth disease, do you? Oh, well, I'm nowhere near your hooves or mouth, so chances are low I'll pick up any sort of disease from this. Blighter. Good girl, Hillary. You were amazing. Oh, Hillary, you've never let me down. That's it. Spark plug, nuts, and a spanner. We're on the home stretch. And now, as Philomena always says to me, just do what you have to do while I mentally tune out for a bit. Oh, Philomena, Lambie's coming home. I'm not so sure about this. Hillary looks a little bit agitated, and technically, we're participating in cruelty to animals. Trust me, Lambie. I seen John Craven do this once on Country File. Cows love this kind of thing. Now button it and get ready. Hillary! It worked! Shift over. I'm driving. Oh. We've got a town to save. some good. Oh, bloody harvester. Just a few more miles would have done it. <sighs> Under the circumstances, she did well. Oh, good old McCracky. Right. Lambert, we need to move fast. Easier said, I know. Oh, I'll give you a second to catch your breath. Oh, then we need to warn the general public about this terrorist threat. Over there. There's one. Sir, run away. Run away immediately. Lambert, you're frightening people. Let me handle this. Sir, there is a red-level biochemical bomb primed to go off at this very festival. A synthetic toxin is about to be unleashed on Clapper's Reek, turning everyone into ravenous marauding bastards. And there's a small chance that rodents are behind this. No, you imbecile. That was the test subject. Oh, please, for the love of sauerkraut, get away while you still have the use of your limbs. So, um, crum. Didn't you hear what he just said? Run for it! Sauerkraut? No. Hey, yippee. You said... Buggeration. This approach is pointless and time-consuming. We can't warn everyone individually. We need to find a way to warn the entire town all at once, causing a mass panic and a crushing stampede for the exit. I could carry it around and inhale the fumes all day. Quick, Lambert, this way. <sighs> oh, uh, oh. Oh. 
Chief, I'm almost glad to see you. We need to move fast. Hector Lambert, I'm shocked. Turning up to a public event square in the eye of the greater community. And you've chosen to wear that. But Chief... Lambert, this is the sort of Tommy Rot I've come to expect from Hector, but not from you. You're right, sir. I'm a disgrace to my profession. I've been telling him that for years. Look, mates, you dare address me as an equal? What happened to respect? Protocol? Do these things mean nothing anymore? Not in the face of total civilian annihilation. <laughs> no excuse for it. That giant bee on a tent looks promising. Unless it's the Clappers Beekeeping Association. Rockin' doody. Kitty's face painting. Her very twee. Round here, it's normally done with needles. You know who gave rock and roll to you? God did. Aye, he did, you know. Gave it to everyone. I'm sure I know that geezer. Scots accent, greenish tinge. The nice threads throw me off a bit. Ah, sure it'll come to me eventually. Look at the state of these turkey twizzlers. Well, gotta work with what you got. Listen up, meat sacks. Hey, hey, look, guys. Hector. And he's wearing a dress. Why, hi. This festival is under terrorist threat. Clapfest is currently on Terraco Black. You've got 30 seconds to assemble an attack plan Riker Theta 11. Why, hi. Hey man, why are you wearing a dress? Sweet virgin mothers of teenage yothas. Be easier to mobilise woodlice than this lot. Dance for us, Hector. Hey <laughs> <laughs> Cornish, isn't that your wife with bucks to hang about? Hmm? Oh, sorry, just a trick of the light. It's cushiony soft. Follow me, men, for battle and glory. Why, hi. Ah, buggeration. Sorry, lot. Take anyone. Listen, there's a. No, listen, forget the gun for a second. Trousers. I'm a police officer in the middle of a very bad day. This festival. Shirt. Do you hear what I'm saying? There's a boat. Listen, chimp, if you're not part of the solution, then piss off. I need to warn everybody right flipping now, and you can't stop me. Or perhaps you can. Out. All right, all right. on a flipping shrimp boat. Come all this way from the boonies to save the town from Hell's doormat and they want me to put on a clean shirt. It's ridiculous. Mm. <clears throat> Hot toasty whiskey. Perfect for those drafty mornings when all you've got on is a flimsy shapeless garment with no arse in it. Once again, it's strangely oxymoronic. This fowl might have made for a cheerful afternoon if it didn't have the stench of impending death hanging over it. There's one thing I hate more than alcoholics, it's flaming recovering alcoholics. This will sort it. One steaming hot <clears throat> coffee for my mate Timbly Boo. Ah, fresh and hot. 
You know, Hector, I never could thank you enough for turning me on to coffee. I've joined a church. I collect for charity on weekends and make my own soup for the homeless on Sundays. I'm a better man today, all thanks to you. Ach, Hector, I can't say it enough. You're a true saint. Teacher, quitter. I can't wait to get me arse covered. You feel oddly vulnerable with your buns in the window. Better. Since I got here, I felt like every pervert in the place was homing in on me Kyber Pass. Looking sharp, feeling reasonable. Let's crash this party. Right, shirt, tie, trousers, shoes. Now, how'd you like to be a real crime fighter for a day? <coughs> There's an imminent terrorist threat here at Clapfest. <coughs> Yes, I'm speaking to you, the guard. Now, the man we're looking for. Door. What about the door? I need you to... Door. Are you even hearing what I'm saying to you, Coco? Biochemical bomb? Terrorist threat? End of clappers ring as we know it? Guard. Door. Private security for you. Must have surgically removed his brain and transplanted them into his arms. I can't imagine anything beyond this point that requires one to be appropriately dressed. Hey, this is Jim Jowell from Clap FM coming to you from Clapfest. Come and catch the clap with your Uncle Jowlsy. Just don't tell your daddy. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, look everybody, it's a fat guy. Hey, fatty, the toilets are that away. Ha, ha, ha. And don't forget about the gurning competition. Get your uglies on, folks. Getting the great British public to look ugly. Sheesh, it's like asking a baby to vomit. <laughs> and safety takes an holiday. Roll up. Roll up. Anybody got a spare? Roll up. This is a piss poor excuse for a festival. Despite there being no entrance fee, I shall demand a full refund. Now, what's this? The tunnel of... Oh, my head. What horrific display of depravity and perversion awaits through the turnstile of this gallery of sexual deviance. Hector! Oh, I should have known. H-bomb, you hardly recognise me, eh? I've lost 14 stone. You look exactly the same. Yes, from here up, but to get me out of the basement of the Exotical, they had to cut off my legs. That's horrible. No, it's excellent. So much easier to find Senor Pene now, eh? Good old Rich. Always a bright side. Oh, two of my first loves. Eating and shooting indiscriminately at unsuspecting people. It's like asking a mother to choose between her children. area marks the end of all that Clapper's Reek has to offer. Phew, got the last one. Only one, really. Up that one up there when I saw you coming. Open for an easy sail, low-hanging fruit, as they say. 
My reputation precedes me. I can see it coming round the corner. for you. A free pass to my tunnel of sweet love. Yes, give it to a friend. And now I shall enjoy this delectable cake. <laughs> what was that? <coughs> Never mind that. What was that? Dios mio, where did you get all this cake? Uh, the free sample train at the jailbreak store. Not again. Fifth time today. Residents aren't bright or sober enough to find their own arse with a torch. But I myself have no trouble seeing to the other side of this football pitch. No, thank you, dearie. Fudge doesn't agree with me. I didn't say anything that sounds like fudge. Toilets are down the end, pet. Good day, handsome. Would you like to make a donation to the Clapper's Reek Preservation Society? I'd love to, madam. Oh, you'll not be sorry, Sonny. Your money goes towards the continued heritage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spare me the leaflet. Would you like to donate coins, a check, or a debit card? A check? Oh, lovely. Here's an envelope. Make the check out to the Preservation Society and drop it back here anytime, dearie. Hey, handsome. Would you like to make a donation to the Clapper's Reek Preservation Society? I've got a few questions about this event. Well, shoot them all over me, precious. I'll pretend you didn't say that. How can I warn everyone here of their impending doom? You'll probably need to use the PA system, but you'd need to get on stage for that. Excellent. Oh, but I'm sorry, pet. You're not nearly ugly enough. Uh, what does my Nick Chase have to do with anything? Well, the only people allowed on stage are qualifiers for Strictly Come Gurning. I'd like to enter the gurning contest. Oh, <laughs> very funny. Now, how can I help? Madam, I appreciate that your advanced years are playing havoc with your cognitive capacities. But I understand that you are taking entries for the gurning contest. And I appreciate that. While you seem like too busy a man to even pause in front of a mirror, this contest is open to extremely ugly people only. And you do not qualify. I do. Wait. Yes, thank you. What? This is a battle I never thought I'd find myself in. So... Is Strictly Come Gurney the only way to get on stage? Yes. Only qualifying contestants will be allowed. And you, my dear, are nowhere near ugly enough to stand a chance. Oh, I see. I'll be back. Huh. They won't let me enter. So, who do I know round here who's uglier than me, stupider than me, and more willing to make a complete arse of himself? There's got to be someone around here I know like that. 
Someone will do anything I tell him to, even if it means embarrassment, demoralisation and self-inflicted harm. Think, Hector, think. Oh, it will come to me, I'm sure. Now best be off. Look at me. See? Trappy Tim's so much better value when he's minced. Somehow, old Tim Bowler always manages to help. I can see my golden glowing face in this envelope. Sadly, I can't see anything else in it. It's empty. Back to St. Clapper's finest indeed. Philomena's been lying to me. How would you like to use your powers for good instead of just frightening small children? I need to get up on stage to warn the public that I'm not ugly enough. Oh, boss, I'd like to help, but Mix needs me here at the booth. We're doing a waterboarding demo in a few minutes. Let me remind you of something, Lambert. You and me, we're partners. And that means I own you. Just to wrap that home, I'm putting you in my infantry. <laughs> Now, when I tell you to do something, whether it's for the good of the town or merely for my own amusement, you do it. You got that? Sure, partner. Good. Hey, since we're partners, can I put you in my inventory? Piss off, Stretch. I'll snap when I need you. to experience all your ride has to offer. Absolutely. I give him the works. Thanks, boss. I like the gentle rides at fairgrounds. Before you go on, I must ask, any allergies or skin irritations? I require regular applications of hand sanitizer. Any sensitivities we should know about? My gums get tender after I floss. Are you pregnant? Pregnant? Why? Because you may be by the time it's over. I'm a boy, silly. Right on you go. Is this anything like the teacups? No, man, but it's nothing like the teacups. Oh, good, because I threw up after the teacups. Second star to the right. <laughs> and straight on to L. That Lambert is where babies come from. What'd you think? Oh, 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 perfect. That's a whole lower level of ugly that I was unaware existed. Now all I need is a bleating breath in. Off you go then. Son of a jackal to enter strictly come gurning. Oh, yes. Is he ugly enough for you yet? I just threw up a little bit in my own mouth. This young man could go all the way. Sure, his face is barely hideous. He would make me stop eating momentarily, but not enough to put me off me food entirely. And where is his braffin? Yes, where is your braffin? Oh, right. The black neck ring. I'll save you a seat, pet. Should I go now? Yeah. Paul Bakes, where can I rustle up a breath in? <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh, great. More dodgy happenings I've got to turn a blind eye to. You never know when you'll need a quick fix. That's weird. Hey, quick, put it away. <laughs> okay, uh, thanks for dropping in, Mr. Fix. It appears whatever you just did has fixed the problem. Yep, 
smooth as a cucumber. Once again, thanks for the fix. Why is he talking like he's on a bad daytime TV drama? My God, Lambert's head would fit perfectly in that. That toilet seat is the perfect breathing. Sir, I insist you let me into that toilet. Back of the queue, social vagrant. Now see here, I believe I made myself quite clear. Sorry, old timer. Gonna have to find a pot plant or an old chili bowl or something. Too late, I fear, young man. Thank you. God for incontinence, pets. Hey, big fella, got you something that may help. Please, I hope it's not any of that one ply. I put my finger through this and I fear I may not get it back again. Slide it under the door if you don't mind. Ah, oh, the oil treatment. Oh. This is divine. You realise I could have you for treason? Well, I think you'll agree that it would have been a worse crime to leave it the way it was. And yet again, a toilet comes to my rescue. Perfect. That looks just enough like a braffin to get away with it. Very easy to imagine Lambert's head through there. Forces of ugly be well. Good day, madam. I believe everything is in order here. Yeah? One hideously contorted mutant freak complete with ridiculous horse collar. Oh, he's perfect. Perfect? Ah, perfectly pleasing to the eye, maybe. Perfect cheekbones. Maybe. It's been years since we saw any young blood in this competition. Likely it's been years since you saw anything at all, madam. I've put him through to the next round. Judging's about to start. Straight through the stage door there. Tcha! I'll eat you like high-priced artisan wedding cake on a lovely lace doily. You're so normal looking, you probably couldn't even get a job as an extra on Doctor Who. Now, now, Bernard. May the best man win. Don't let him get to you. He's really a dear. I was thinking moose, myself. Hey, little beautiful man. Think you can beat me, eh? Your candy nose, moisturizing little rose petal of an entry looks like he's bathed in the piss of a thousand angels. Tch, your uniformly hued skin tone makes babies laugh. Prepare now for failure, face, face. Zip the Mako pandering Adonis or I'll Botox you backstage. <laughs> now, before I turn the mic over to these out of my unfaced attention cravers, a quick reminder that later yours truly will be cutting the ribbon of the grand reopening of the clock tower, unveiling the town's spanking new ringtone. So, let's kick off straight What was that you just said about a big tone? It's only the grand finale of Clapfest, the Preservation Society's shined the old clock tower up to its original lacklustre, stuck more bells in there, and at ten o'clock we all get a treat for the ears when we hear the clock's new ringtone. Yowza! Bells. Balls. Ah, oh, that's the trigger for the ball. Anybody know what this new ringtone sounds like? Yeah, right there. Pretty lame if you ask me. I can play it. No, don't play the note. Wait a minute. B A D G E. B A D G E. Lambert. The badges are the bombs. Everyone in town is wearing one. They all have their own individual dose of evil juice prime to go off when the clock tower rings. People of Clappers, I have greetings, citizens. Can we all give a big welcoming hand 
to Detective Inspector Hector Town Nero. The very man all have to thank for the restoration of the clock tower, the cleansing of the Clappers Big High Street, and providing a generous donation to fund this very festival. Listen, you're all in serious. Now, uh, Hector, I've seen you run it all over Clapfest. It seems you've worked out the big surprise in store for everyone. <laughs> Now, don't you go spilling the secret before it's time, or you could end up ruining everything. Understand? See you all at 10 o'clock. Enjoy what's left of your life. I mean, day. Thanks, <laughs> I've got to find a way in there and catch Barnsley before he sets off the bombs. And somehow I don't think it's going to be as easy as picking the lock with a dirty needle this time. bringing a thin slice of hope to your otherwise vacant lives. Hey, stranger, you've been looking for a great contest? <laughs> Feeling lucky? Care to take a stab? My luck's all out right now. I'm thinking really hard about the stab, though. So what does it cost to enter this scam? It's absolutely free of charge. Now you're speaking my language. Would you care to hazard a guess? Come on, it's not like I'm asking you to donate a lung. Normally, I don't get suckered into gimmicks like this, but all your swanky talk has me convinced my losing streak is over. Okay, I'll make a guess. Fire away. One. One? That's it. One. Your guess is one? Yes. One. <laughs> if this contest wasn't free, I'd say you were throwing your money away. Oh, well, it's your funeral. Right. One it is. Just don't picture yourself driving this sweet ride into the sunset. That's OK. I'm too busy picturing myself driving this sweet ride into a city landmark. Nah, can't be asked. Beans in a beanie, beans in a beanie. Hey, Be mister, while you was over there thinking about ponies, an officious-looking prig dressed in a suit just like yours put that on your windscreen. Eh? Ooh, it's the envelope. How did I miss him? Probably because you're a gullible twat with okay. an arse for a chin. Gather round, people. It's the moment you've all been loitering around for. The official golden envelope has arrived. <laughs> This envelope contains the number of beans packed into this here vintage 1965 beanier. Some lucky lad or lassie at the fair will be driving home <laughs> in this British classic. The grand total of beans in this automobile is... One. 
One bean? How can that be? I've got more than one bean stuck between my teeth. Well, it came out of a golden envelope, so it must be true. Now, did anyone here say one? Oh, it, it's me. <laughs> I've won the car. This is the happiest moment of my entire day. Ah, oh, well done, you. What a stroke of good luck. Most men only dream of winning a beanie beanie. And here I am, living the dream. Um, there's a knack to opening the driver's door. Hold the button in and give the handle a good yank. sound of the wanton destruction of municipal property downstairs and knew you must have arrived. Your jaunty rainbow braces belie the abject fear in your hairy gob. After all we've been through together, you've chosen to mock my clothes. I've always thought braces were something only knobs wear. The defence rests. Cretin. Ponce. You seem busy. I won't keep you any longer. Ugh, empty, that old lush. Hold off on Armageddon just a few more minutes. I'm making popcorn downstairs. Right, there's got to be something around here I can use to unequivocally monkey up his detonator, what's it? Wonder where that clocksmith fella got off to. Hmm. Probably airdropped him into downtown Tehran. They'll take anybody these days. <laughs> well, I'm sure I can find a use for this. Users. Best to save it for something small. Sometimes a drip is all you need. Imagine what this could do for the chrome on me caravan. Now, let's see if there's anything useful in it. That hoody little Borko from the Preservation Society. I'll rip the Borko bloody smile from his Borko bloody Borko face. I'll... Oh, hello. It's you. No, nothing useful in your... Hmm, strong little bugger. Hang on. What was that noise in your head? What's this? Yeah, just another one of me old war stories. You don't want to hear it, I don't expect. Put it on your tombstone and I'll get to it later. Bah, bugger hell, yes, a good one too. Still curious about what's in your head. Have to sit through the story first. Get on with it. Should have accepted the first time. Now I ain't going to tell you unless you ask nicely. Please? All right, then. It were night. Surrounded on all sides, including above and below. Explosions coming from all directions. I was in the larder, trying to put together late supper for 800 injured soldiers. They called me Cookie. No time for imagination back then. Is this going to be a long one? Then suddenly, bang! Bloody Borko shot right through the hole. Non-perishables flying everywhere. Nowhere to hide. No escape. Tin of chicken Vienna sausages lodged in me head. Still there to this very day. Well, I'm surprised they didn't make a movie of that. Jerry Borkheim is working on it as we speak. Can I see the tin? Ho, 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 boy, oh, 
is a gruesome sight for little eyes such as yours. I dare you to look upon this. Well, um, who told you it was a tin of sausages? Ha, <laughs> doctors told me not to worry too much about it. Why? Because it ain't a tin of sausages. Eh? It's an unexploded bomb. You what? Probably told you not to worry because they figured you'd be dead in an hour. That explains why they put me in a ward by myself. Sit tight. I always do. I lost my lower intestine in poor. Let's see that bomb in your head again. Right, now, hold still. This might pinch a bit. Well, I can see your brain. What happens when I do this? Well, see your leg just then? That weren't my leg. Oh. Okay, nice and easy. Yeah, I wouldn't be too worried about nice and easy. Fallen on me head more times than you've had hot ladies. So, four times then. Oh, really? No, I had you down for less than that. Well, regardless of your definition of hot, I wouldn't be too ginger with that thing. Around this long. Should take one hell of a wallop to set that bugger off. I'll keep that in mind. On your feet, soldier. Hey, what? Corporal Flack, sir! Sir, with all due respect, sir, I am standing at as full attention as I am capable, sir. Oh, wait, it's just you. Excuse me while I sit back down in disrespect. There's a crazed terrorist up in your clock about to unleash hell upon the tower. Sir, some bloody right, I say. Call me when the smoke clears. And get the door on your way out. your belly aching and get up those stairs on the double. Stairs? Ha! Have you taken a look at me lately with your good eye? Last time I did bloody stairs, I was being pushed by Winston Churchill. Forcefully and down, I reckon. If you don't do stairs, how'd you get up there to fix the clock? Same way I always do. Oh, this... <laughs> Which is how, exactly? Oh, right. Uh, there's a dumb waiter behind the distillery. Dumb waiter? Where does it go? Opens out onto the roof. From there, I take the platform down and get in through the window to clock face. Perfect. I can get onto the roof and then when that smug son of a... I don't mean to ruin your climax, but the dumb waiter only seats one, and that's me. OK, I've got a plan. Now, you bring that bomb with you and take the stairs. I'll take Dumbwaiter to the roof. When you shout the code word, I'll distract him from outside. Once he's looking out the window for me, you place the bomb somewhere in the machinery where it's likely to receive a god-awful huge wallop. Then we wheel like wildfire out of there and watch the fireworks from a good distance away. Be just like Khrushchev's beach house all over again. That's a pretty good plan, so all we need is a code word. I'll get him chatting, and in mid-conversation, I'll slip in a simple word like... N avocado Avocado? Work fine at Khrushchev's speech house. No reason it won't work now. Let's do this. If we need to regroup, just knock twice on the distillery and I'll pop back down. It's been an honour serving with you. I'd like to say the same, but you're no corporal flack. <laughs> Gotta find him. Oh, Brill, that old coop actually came through. In this light, your nose looks rather like an avocado. In this light, your hair looks rather like a fecal starfish. Excuse me, I have to go. Somewhere there is a crime happening. Where is that deaf bloody...
Goat's hard. Always meant to come back here with murder most moist eleven. Now we'll never know the true joy of moving pictures. Avocado, bloody hell. Sir? What the hell? I must have said avocado 50 bleeding times. You said no such thing. I did. I wasn't even subtle about it. Oh, blast. Blimmin' ears still ringing like Bastille Day. I can only hear you when you stand right in front of me. Can you hear anything up there? I can hear him talking just fine. Must be your gravelly lower register voice. Terrorist sings like a blimmin' Vietnamese peasant girl, loud and clear. We need a new plane. You pulling rank on me, young book? I don't think so. The plan stays. But you can't hear me. Yeah, but I can hear him. All you need to do is get him to casually slip the word avocado into conversation. Dismissed. Remember the avocado. How could I possibly forget something so abysmally stupid? Before I die, I'd like to make one last request. Oh, I suppose I owe you that much. What is it then? I'd just like to hear you say one thing before you plunge the town into chaos and dismemberment, and that's... Avocado. That's the one thing in the world you want me to say? Yes. Out of all the words in the entire world? Yes. You want me to say... Yes, bloody yes. Say it. Avocado? Oh, thank God. What kind of lasers is that? Oh, excuse me, your attention, please. Sorry, distracted there for a moment. You were saying something about an avocado? avocado. Uh, no, I wasn't. Yes, you certainly were. You kept yelling avocado over and over. Remember the um, avocado. Oh, I... Avocado, 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 you kept saying. What do bloody avocados have anything to... A bit, yeah. <laughs> Hell will erupt through the streets of Clapper's Creek. Civil disobedience will be uncontainable. Let the rehabilitation of Claptopia begin. <laughs> and expensive toned clock. What have you done? What have I done? I've just gone and saved the bleeding town from a bioterrorist plot. That's what I've done. There's your terrorist. Barnsley Noble, fine outstanding member of society, last officer of the tourism board, founder of the Clappers Rig Preservation Society and all-round ass barnacle. I don't mean to be rude, but am I allowed a phone call? Phone call? You'll be lucky if I let you keep your tongue. Oh, Hector, it's just a phone call. Hello? Yes, it's Barnsley. Release it now. Toodaloo. All done. You see, Hector, no harm. Attention, everybody. To lighten the mood after the recent destruction of the clock tower, I've just been given the nod to spring one last surprise on you, and here it is. <laughs> I would have preferred to deliver my own brand of chaos in a single-serving sachet, but you 
force by hand. What have you done? There's enough arsenal in there to gas the entire town five times over. <laughs> Imagine the amount of carnage a badge that size will cause. Yeah, one might even call it a badge of... It's like it's been planned all along. My God, is that kids on there? Make sure they take their shoes off. I have a sinking feeling that things could get rather nasty, what with a terrorist in our midst. So, if you require a sound bite, I'll be holed up in my office with the door locked. Good day. But you've been sitting next to a murderer all morning. Yes, but look at him. If there were any way he could ever escape, do you think I would have brought him along? Why, trussed up like this, he looks almost cute. Anywho, Napu. Guess that leaves you, Lambert. I've got to deal with this bouncy badger of butchery, so I'm leaving this monster in your custody. This man is a danger to the community. Do not let him out of your sight. Sure thing, boss. Do not listen to anything this monster says. Got it. You're to tell him nothing personal, or he'll try to use it against you. Okey doke. I mean it. Don't even tell him what hands you wipe your ass with. Believe me, you do not want Barnsley Noble inside your head. I was fine before, now I'm crapping myself. Ugh, terror has struck. As a result, Meeks is strangely absent. He shouldn't miss this. Exactly a pocket rocket, is it? Mr. Fixier. Come. <laughs> you. You won't come if I'm here. Another satisfied customer. My lord, he looks 
titillated, constipated, tantalized, sodomized, pacified, horrified. Hector, this ride has it all. You enter a baby caterpillar and emerge a man. That man looked like he's passing a baby caterpillar. He may very well be. Here you go, darling. Put this on your buns. And that is not an invitation for an act of gross public indecency, which would make me feel even more nauseous than your cooking. Oh, what is it? Uh, powdered sugar. But most of my cakes are 99% sugar anyway. Oh, but is it powdered? Well, hell, why not? Everybody likes sugar, right? Yo, Kiefer can't get enough of it. Why, when he gets his hands on a bowl, he just keeps eating it and eating it till it's gone. Go on, a light dusting over the top of everything. Hey, you guys smell that? Wow, that baking reminds me of dear old Boom. Give me a slice of whatever you're selling. Wow, this cake is stupefyingly horrible, but I must have more. Ramses wig, this is damagingly addictive. Sweet lord, it's like having my tongue run over a cheese grater by Nigella before she got fat. Hey, this one had a file in it. I lost three teeth, which means there's now more room in my mouth for more cake. Ha <laughs> ha! File saved. Wait, mister, I owe you a cake. Keep it, darling. I got what I came for. Go ahead and sell mine on to one of these mugs, but do key for a favour and start up an ISA. For I have a sneaking suspicion that he and I will be meeting in a professional capacity in the not-too-distant future. Happy belated birthday. Do vicious murderers celebrate birthdays? It's hard to imagine him with a party at playing musical chairs and eating Rice crispy buns. <laughs> Actually, scratch that, I just did. Three cheers for health and safety. I just hope I don't get back strain from carrying it around in my pocket. save the town, while at the same time make all the children cry. It's like getting cream and marshmallows. Hey, the fat guy's back. Oh, 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 oh. It's not enough until I say it's enough. There, that's enough. I'm from the Giant Ceremonial Items Commission of the Mayor's Office. Ah, oh, suppose you'll be wanting these scissors back. indeed -de do Well, just try and take them, then. You made it sound like you were gonna make a bigger deal of it. Nonsense. Always happy to help. Oh, and sir, if I may... Had to squeeze that last one in, did ya? Wrong. Had to squeeze that last one out. <laughs> what the hell? There's a kid on there with shoes. My traitor Dios, he'll kill us all. Gotta be quick about it. 
got it. Brill, badge is gonna fly. Now to do something about these ropes. Well, Barnsley, some things don't. Prepare to receive the arse. Put me the only living choice. Let's wait, Hector. I've got your partner. Do you save the innocent or punish the guilty? What do you do, Hector? <laughs> Hector, I may be your partner and we've been through so much together, but you can't let him escape. Shoot! Oh, suits me fine. Nice knowing you, lad, but... Doses of arsenal. So why are you not a horrific, ravenous, marauding mutant bastard from Crazy Town? Simple. I swallowed the antidote. Your partner, on the other hand. <laughs> Sadly for your partner, I only ever made one dose of the antidote, and it's currently residing right here. taken any chances this time. Your festival is deserted, your plans are ruined, and the only reason you aren't dead yet is because you're the only man who can save my partner. Now where can I get more antidote? <laughs> you can't. The only cure you'll ever find is currently residing in my tummy. Good luck with that. <laughs> Gents, keep your eyes on this turd bucket until I can find a way to deal with Lambert. You got that? <laughs> Close enough. There's a bit of that glute left in the bottom. Never know. You won't cough up the antidote. Mm -mm. Never wonder what a puppy in a dryer feels like. All right, Barnsley. You won't cough up the antidote. Then I'm coming in after it. You... You animal! What was that horrible stuff? You know, I've been trying to work that out myself all day. Oh, well, back to work, eh? You know, given time, I could probably forgive you for what you did to my partner, to the townspeople, to the 37 cops you shot, to Filthy Rich, to that badger, and I'm sure countless other woodland creatures. But dressing me in an hospital gown and making me look a dip in public, that is not on. You really think of no one but yourself, do you? Sorry, did you say something? I couldn't hear you over the sound of wretching. Well, oh, there he goes. That's it. Get it all out.
no time to look for sterilised gloves or forceps or any of that. You're just gonna have to go for it. Well, at least I don't have to eat it. The day Lambert became a bigger bastard than me, the boys back at the station will never let me live it down. Finish this thing. I could use a nap. Oi, Lambert! Open wide, you mutating son of a bitch! Wow, what a migraine. I don't remember much of what happened. All you need to know is it's over now. And if it wasn't for me, you'd be dead. So you owe me big time. Well, thanks, boss. That, and you ate four people. Me? Release me! Someone! Please! Let's get this moron brought back down to justice. Release me! As you wish. Well, that's one more head case off the streets. Plenty more running round loose out there, that's guaranteed. They don't call this place the crime capital of Britain for nothing. I was the unwitting accomplice to his twisted plans, and in the end, he met his horrible fate by my hands. Does that make me just as bad as him? If it does, Lambert, you'd better cover that up in your report, which is due on my desk tomorrow. Oh, I, I was hoping to take the night off. Sorry, Lambert. Police work never ends. Not until the admin's done. Now, oh, I've got something for you. For me? Really? It's the first place ribbon for the Strictly Come Gurning contest. After you ingested that toxin, I've never seen such a hideous, mutated freak of nature as you, Lambert. You deserve it. <laughs> oh, thanks. I won something. I'm truly chuffed, Hector. Come on. If we hurry, we can catch the off-license for it shuts. I'll let you buy me a crate of beer as a little thank you for saving your ugly ass.